everyone. So I finally, finally got the September box from Art Atelier. This is a vintage ephemera subscription box. Took two months to come from China, but hey, I mean, it's COVID still and um, mail is still slow. So let me go ahead and take the string off. As usual, there's always um, pictures of the, well, samples of the stamps that are included in this month's box. And that's what we have here on the front. Um, <clears throat> the theme for this box is Kew Gardens in England, London specifically. Um, this is definitely a place that I would love to go visit should I ever get a chance to go to England. Um, box was smashed up in transit but that's okay because that doesn't really affect anything that's in here so let's go ahead and open it up okay so <clears throat> go ahead and take out what's in here so we'll start with the stamp for this month so it looks like it is a postage stamp a stamp of a postage stamp <laughs> Um, pretty good quality stamps. I don't mind them at all. So here we go. Focus. Okay. So it is a rubber stamp, as you can see, and it's a really nice one. I'm going to have fun using this in my um, junk journal. Um, next, we have some washi here. So with a pretty good amount of washi and um, this one is a little different it is where is it start get this to peel off here we go let me make sure first I'm in focus okay so as you can see it does have like some botanical stuff I hope this is in focus oh, there we go there we go. Just trying to, I know it's trying to focus in the back of the box. Sorry. Let me try to get this back in focus here. Okay. There we go. So that's what it looks like. Just a part of it. Okay. And then we have some thin washi. So this one says to do masking tape. Let's see. Oh, this one is nice. Usually I don't care for a thin washi, but this one says books. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Books. Yes. No. Check. Today's meals. Don't know if that's all that it says on the roll, but it's actually kind of nice. A series of words by Mocard. A lot of the stuff um, is usually from Mocard. The they put out some pretty good stuff. I do have some other stuff I haven't filmed yet that I will show that is also by that company. Oh, so she included this card right here. Thank you for your purchase. This is really nice. And then to scan, it's a sticker. All right, so here's the first set of ephemera. And as usual, they're just beautiful cards. <clears throat> Botanical illustrations, okay, and this is on pretty thick cardstock. See, so I always love using those. So let's get to the stamp set first. So we have here are the images. Oh, well, here are the stamped images from the stamp set. Sorry, wasn't in focus there. I mean, there we go. So the actual um, structure, and then, you know, we've got this one right here. It doesn't show it very well because that's like a textured type of paper, but here, let me do this. So if that will show better. I definitely want to use this in this one. So that's the stamps. Put that here. And then we've got 
our first set of ephemera, which is usually, you know, there's going to be a lot of little pieces aside from the big pieces. Um, there's going to be a lot of vellum, a lot of cardstock, and um, clear pieces. So we have clear pieces like this one right here. Um, let me use this as a backdrop. As you can see, let me put it down. Because we have some white ones here. This one has Washington Hilton Hotel. I know you can't really see it very well. Um, hold on, I think I have some darker cardstock here. There we go. All right, it actually matches. So we've got this. Here's another one that's white, like a ticket. We've got some on some, well, looks like, yeah, there we go. So these are all clear stickers, okay? So I'll put that down. I have some like on um, a thinner paper that's gold um, foiled or flecked. So, you know, pieces like that. Oops. It's always awkward to try to show these because there's just so many pieces. We have the October calendar right here. Since this was the September box, um, I have some, looks, I can feel it. They feel like stickers. So we have more images that were printed on sticker paper. Make sure I'm in focus. And then I do have a little notepad here. Okay. Some vellum. There we go. Upside down. It's probably showing it better on camera than it is in person. <laughs> okay. Um, the image of a postcard. And also I have here like a meal plan. I think this is on carbon paper. Yeah, hold on. So yeah, it is. Cause look, I've got the white, the pink and the yellow. Yeah, so there are two sets of those. And what else do we have here? Oh, some larger images. Sorry, there we go. And then I have some other pieces here printed on vellum again. Um, and these are of mushrooms and plants. It's probably not the best backdrop because it is a little dark, but there we go. Okay. Oh, here's one more with a, looks like some berries and then more vellum. still plenty of these. It's on black and white vellum, um, or rather ink, that is. So, there we go. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to use the one with the white vellum. I, well, no, I think I know how I'm going to do it. Um, I'll do it against like craft paper background. So we've got some more smaller pieces here on vellum. So really that's two. Yeah, there's another one there too. I know they're upside down, but I'm just trying to get through this. So those are the pieces there. Okay. And then we've got these. These are printed on textured paper. Some tags and just, you know, various cuts. So that's it for that first package. I mean, there's just so many pieces every time when you, um, you get this, um, subscription box. That's why I love ordering from Rosie because you just get so much for, um, what, what, you know, how much you're paying. I mean, I'm paying $32 includes shipping. Even if it is EMS shipping and it is taking two months, hey, that's not her fault. It's COVID and um, it doesn't matter where in the world, it's still gonna take a long time oh, to get to the US. I'm in no hurry. I have so many boxes. I have plenty to use. 
Um, so I'm just always excited with what themes that she picks out. Of course, my favorite themes are always like the botanical stuff. But I am definitely excited for the November box. Is it November? Yeah, November box because that one is um, a Japanese like print type of a theme. So, and I still need to finish my um, Japan trip um, insert. And so that, I'm so excited to get that box because I can definitely use a lot of that for to finish that insert. So, come on out. Okay, so we have a lot of like the sticker clear pieces going on here. I think I'm just gonna put it all in here and then show it up close. So we have these little thin ones, which are a little annoying to show because they're so thin. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just an I'm tired and my hands are starting to hurt. They're kind of cr a little crampy right now. Um, so trying to pick stuff up like this is hurting. And no, I don't have arthritis. It's just I spent a whole day of like writing patient intakes. So yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> All right, so let's just get through that. So there was like a, one more just to put them all in. We've got all these little freaking pieces here. I don't care. They're upside down. Whatever. So here we go. A lot of good stuff there. Um, then we have some bigger sheets. Let's see. Another one. Oh, this one's interesting. This one has a lot of foil. Um, oh, it's long. Wow. That would look, oops, really good on a scrapbook layout. Or it would look good on the front of an insert, front and back of an insert, you know? Um, so we got more small pieces here. Okay, another little piece. More feathers, sticker feathers clear that is and then we have more of these right here these other sticker pieces and we have tags oh wait this one's a postcard but look at these little tags and it's on a thick card stock see I'm having a hard time trying to pick stuff up okay so we've got more sticker pieces labels this goes like that this one's nice. That would also look good on the outside of an insert. Another piece there. Oops. Okay. So let's put it back. Yeah, I'm really excited to use this. I plan on going to, well, I think it is this weekend. There's a craft fair. It was one of the craft fairs that me and my sister um, worked. We um, got a table. This was two years ago. Yeah, before COVID. And um, she was selling stuff that she was um, making like Christmas ornaments that she would letter and paint on and her signs and just a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, and then I was selling the Laminated Traveler's Notebooks that I had made. And um, this was over at a Catholic church. Um, so they're having their craft fair finally again this year so that we're, we're not selling anything um my sister just didn't feel like making a whole bunch of stuff again to sell so um plus yeah if she was going to do it she should have started in you know in the summertime um so yeah so i didn't feel like i wanted to sell by myself so i'll just go as a customer this time <laughs> and you know get some stuff because there's always some interesting things that you can find you know and it's good to support local craft fairs you know the local crafters around here okay so i do have some of these images that are printed on the handmade paper okay so i like this map here another one these are of the gardens okay and then we have a newspaper article and then we have like the various oh this one has some texture to it various um handmade papers okay rosie always includes those every month this one is interesting it's embossed 
She's never done that one before. And then we have an invoice, a couple of invoices. Yeah, this one is on, lab, on um, vellum and this one is not. And then we have here the bigger pieces, copies of like invoices, a book, newspaper. And that's it for the September Our Atelier subscription box. Um, I can't even remember now what October is. I'm gonna have to go look online. But I did just put my order in for November. So I'm wondering what is she's going to have for December. Because last year we voted um, not to have something that was Christmas related. And so it, what she did in, you know, theme wise was like a winter theme. So curious to see if anybody wants to do a Christmas theme um, or wants her to produce a Christmas theme one. So yeah, that's it for this box. Um, I wonder how the weather is where you are because today was really cold. Um, I think it's just the moisture in the air because it was kind of drizzly early in the morning and then it just stopped but then all that moisture was left. So I did finally get to wear a sweater which I was excited about because I love sweater weather and um, I ate my lunch in my car because I went to Sonic and it was freezing. <laughs> I normally don't get cold that easily but yeah it was a bit nippy. Okay so I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you on the next haul. Okay, bye-bye.